This tutorial goes over how to calibrate the RetroTINK 4K to play PlayStation 2 games on original hardware. As with other tutorials in this series, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I'm linking the PlayStation 2 section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki so you can read on. All models of PlayStation 2 support YPBPR component video and this cable is recommended. The PlayStation 2 supports 15 kHz and 31 kHz signals, and with component cables, you automatically switch between the resolutions seamlessly. If you use RGB SCART cables, you will need to switch inputs if the PS2 switches from 15 kHz to 31 kHz and back. This is because the PS2 switches from RGBS Sync on Luma for 15 kHz to RGSB Sync on Green for 31 kHz. The RetroTINK 4K is currently unable to automatically switch between input types when this occurs. If you use enhanced this video, you will not get access to 31 kHz signals. You will be able to follow this tutorial until 480p is enabled on the PS2. First, head into the sample rate detection menu. Turn auto decimation factor and auto decimation phase on. Go down to ADC sample rate and change that to 3400. 32 dots per line for NTSC consoles or 3,456 dots per line for PAL consoles. Make your way down to interlace detection and turn on the final two options, 686.4 and 858 for NTSC consoles and 691.2 and 864 for PAL consoles. If you have access to games with progressive output, follow the same instructions. Turn on auto decimation factor and auto decimation phase. Make the ADC sample rate 3,432 dots per line for NTSC consoles or 3,456 dots per line for PAL consoles. Turn on 686.4 and 858 for NTSC consoles and 691.2 and 864 for PAL consoles. If you are using Enhanced S Video or you don't have any games that support progressive output, your journey ends here as we are moving on to 31 kHz signals. Enjoy your games! If you do have access to software with 31 kHz support, load them up and follow these instructions. Go into the RGB Component Setup menu. Set samples per line to 3432 for 480p content. Set decimation factor to 4. Now, hit the phase button on your remote to activate the automatic phase calibrate function. This should give you the shopper's possible picture from your console. You do not have to do this for 720p or 1080i content. The RetroTINK 4K will automatically set the sample rate for these vertical resolutions. If you are using RGB SCART or Enhanced S Video, find the patch of pure white and hit the gain button on the remote to calibrate your colors. You will need to find the way to get 100% EBU or SMPTE colors to calibrate the colors for your screen for component. Hit the gain button on your remote to calibrate your colors. Whichever output method you use, you will need to do color calibration for each vertical resolution. Your RetroTINK 4K is now calibrated to play PS2 games on all resolutions. Enjoy your games.